Man can only dream. You really think they remember nothing? The skull sponges in this door. Clients allowed in here. Be a charm and close the door on your way out, would you? As you can see, I'm very busy. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. But she used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Ah. You could do better. Try Roxy over at Booth too. Same heart-shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. Don't have time for your games. Need to know where Evelyn is. We're running a skin circus here, in case you haven't noticed. Not a miss. Let me guess. You played with the doll once or twice, and now you want- Call your office and think you've got it made. Don't you? Congrats! You read minds better than our own fucking AI. Someone get this gonk a job. Ever stop to think who's behind the tiger claw puppets you call your bosses? Tiger claw bosses have got their own bosses. In case you didn't know, you're just too small to see them. <laughs> oh, cause you're such a big shot. Let's just say a certain member of the Arasaka clan wouldn't be pleased if he knew something bad happened to Evelyn, and that you're the one responsible. All right, fine. I'll lay it on you straight. Girl you're looking for, Parker? She ain't here. Tell me something I don't know. Like, where is she? Think you know how things work around here, but you don't know shit. Dolls aren't here to give you pleasure and satisfaction out of the goodness of their soul. They're workers. Their job's to generate profit. Evelyn stopped pulling profit. No denying that, sadly for her. I saw what she did to the client. She gets spiked or something? Whatever or whoever fried her circuits, it came from outside our subnet. They played their deck like a virtuoso. Her chip was fucking rot. Believe you me, we tried to fix it. Didn't even come close. They common? These kind of accidents? Ever use tech that never broke? Didn't think so. Behavioral chip splits you right down the middle. Some people plain lose their minds. And for everyone that does, there's a dozen in line to replace them. Is this you talking it out straight? What happened to Evelyn? Got an order from up high to recycle her. You killed her? No. I found a Ripper doc who was willing to take a look. 
Yeah, he said he knew something or other. You took her to the Ripper instead of following orders. Didn't take you for someone with balls. For fuck's sake, I'm not running a slaughterhouse here. Only recycle as a last resort. And family always gets a call. If there is any. Think there are any daddies out there willing to change the diapers of a brain-dead little slut on the verge of cyberpsychosis? Probably not. Casting him out on the street ain't an option either. Can't risk tanking our crit. Well, anything's better than a bullet to the brain. <laughs> you know, that's what every doll says. I'm starting to like you. You looking for work by any chance? You invested your own eddies to help poor, unprofitable Evelyn. Please. <laughs> you got me. Ripper's the one who paid me. For a broken doll. People got all kinds of kinks. Trust me. I know. Considering where I work. Fingers is a real specimen, though. Got all the fetishes. Even the ones you've never heard of. I'm sure he found her a nice niche. <laughs> the Ripper. Name and address. Don't know her last name. Don't fuck with me. I'm not. Goes by fingers. Clinic's in some godforsaken alley up on Jig Jig Street. Wanna find Evelyn? Look there. And don't come back here. Ever. While you're at it, take the elevator. The quicker you're out of here, the better. Doc Fingers on Jig Jig Street. Sounds like a co-ed's wet dream. Evelyn's still with his fingers creep. Do I look like his secretary? How'd she look to you last time you saw her? You weren't listening. Told you already. Now get out! You may take your weapons. A pleasant day to you. The next time you have that urge for Cloud, don't wait. Got a real charm, this place. In that slimy, subterranean kind of way. You think Fingers got her? I think we'll find her there. V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. See, your opinion about dollhouses hasn't changed. Oh, but it has. Before, I wouldn't have touched one with a ten-mile pole. Now I'm thinking a fire'd really make this place shine. that 
No, no, damn it. Jesus, what the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow. I'm gonna decommission before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Asked you already. What the hell you want from me? I got a get out of jail free card. I'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage. See, me and Arasaka, we got a half century old score in each seven. And I plan to do it. That's what I need you for. <laughs> but why? Fighting for some dated ideal? Pursuing a personal vendetta? You don't need to know. Here to get me from point A to point B. Listen. I know things. Where we can save your life. Who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need, and Makoshi's how we grab it. Okay, so... This Makoshi, what is it exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Yeah, seen the memories. Did a real number on you. Okay, seems we've got a few more things to broach than I thought, but that'll come later. Anyway, when Soul Killer fries, roasts, and boils you, you die. But the contents of your mind get copied to an engram first. Sure. That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Makoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. see how Mikoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are you? Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Mikoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. <sighs> Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And, uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time, bomb's named Alta Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is? Not yet. But you will once we find what we need. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside, Makoshi.
homicide call, didn't I? Promising's one thing, keeping it's a whole other bag. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dock, goes by fingers. Oh shit. Know where to find this fingers character? Yeah, runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck V. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Heading there now, to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from Clouds. Oh, Alright, later V. Here, Katie, Katie, what's the hey, rush? At least here you know what you're getting. What's important? I may have found a solution to the problem we share. I have established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. That's gonna help us how exactly? There will be a meeting. You, me, and this friend of mine. You will tell him what you told me, the truth of events at Kompiki Brother. I have little hope that he will be convinced, but it will be a start. Of all people, you ought to know Night City tests everyone's reliability, even that of old friends. Sure about this guy? Trust him? Many times we have had the opportunity to kill one another. Yes, I trust him. Fine. Where's the meet and when? Japan Town. After sunset. I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there. Woo! That's right! You get him, boy! Ugh. Who the world with, with, with bloody stain and bruise 
Who the butter? Of all we what the hell are they taking? I'm prayer to him! Probably it's a fabricant. Sounds like paradise. 24 hours, you feel no pain and barely remember a thing afterwards. Who can blame them then? What you got to eat? See for yourself. Fingers. Know where I can find them? If I could, I'd swap, you know? Why does everything have to be so damn convoluted? In the end, only I got left the shredded cables and empty bottles. Careful. But I was, and I gotta work out, you know. Hey, hands off! I think I'm scared of your skinny ass. You will be when every mop in town depends on your shithole. You got a financial claim? Take. You do. And that shit has a name. Something around 20,000. What? Come on, you pulled that number out of your ass. Hey, what's that tone with me, you skank? Hey, look in the mirror. Who paid for all that? Think Fingers would have fixed a crack face plate for free? You want out? You gotta pay me back. Teaches those candy ass hey, scotch suckers hey. not to come around here no more. Hello, there's a line. 
Nuh-uh, you ain't cutting. Sit your ass down and wait your turn. Fingers guy, you know him? Heard some things, yeah. Like? His hand sometimes slips. Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. After the heist, Evelyn hold up with the mocks for a while, right? That's right. So why the hell she go back to Clouds? <sighs> Thought she'd be safer there. God knows why. Tried to get her to see straight, but she wouldn't listen. You talked to Fingers yet? If only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docks in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls? See if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. Fingers a friend to the working guys and girls around here? Helped me. I'd be in a wheelchair if it wasn't for him. He chipped you some chrome with real skin that had peeled off. What he replaced it with looks like a bathroom floor from a senior home. Better than being a cripple. Sorry, don't have time to sit around. Ha! Huh. That makes three of us. Tell you what makes three. Number of seconds it'll take me to turn this place upside down. Inside out. Jeez, all right! You got nerve. Don't let me stop you if you're in such a goddamn hurry. Come on, let's go. had a longer face than you. Edges are stretching your optic nerves. Don't worry. Your eyes I think he's done. Adjust. We're going in. Eventually. Yes? Hello. What can I do for you? Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. I know she was here in your... clinic. Ah, so that's what this is about. Where is she? Ah, a loaded question if I've ever heard one. You, Tiger Claws! As far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the Mox. The Mox? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? These girls know you're chipping faulty implants? You might say so. I'd say they're the very best I can find. See? What's in it for you? Whatever they have to offer. And they always have something to offer. <laughs> you're a sick fuck. Know that? You looking for a... friend? <laughs> Heard you help the working girls around here. Well, very few children will play with broken toys. So when skin goes flabby, sockets go out of whack, implants malfunction... I'm sure you get the gist. You pay for goods, you expect top quality. Consumerism 101. Please, scrap... Yards offer better quality than this. Already told you. I'm looking for a woman named Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. It's 
so many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm, I'll be more than glad to show you around, but um, uh, later, perhaps. Of course. Forest. Name mean anything to you? Nope. They call him Woodman. Works at the dollhouse. You... you talk to him? I'm the one asking the questions here. Was Woodman the one who introduced Evelyn to you? Introduced? <laughs> Interesting choice of words. Rolled her in on a gurney, more like. She was out of it. I honestly couldn't believe she wasn't dead. Never mentioned her name, so... I just called her Doll. Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. You mentioned you couldn't help her. Help her with what, exactly? If I only knew, I wager she'd be standing here, happy and smiling. Instruction register on her chip was burnt to a crisp. Tried replacing it. Nothing. Damage was caused by a netrunner using homebrewed malware. Sounds about right. Get to the point. The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. Don't talk to her like that. She insulted me! Look, the quicker you spill, the shorter you'll have to put up with us. Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. What do you mean by underground? I don't know. I mean, I don't watch that sort of stuff. Snuff? XBDs? I told you I don't know. You sure about this? Four days I had her here. She was out cold in La La Land for practically every minute. It wasn't a slumber party. We didn't have pillow fights and promised to send each other postcards. Where will we find her? How many times do I have to repeat myself? I, I don't know. I, I did what anyone in my place would do. When I realized I wouldn't be able to help her, patch her up, I called my fixer. Two guys came and picked her up the same day. Who'd you call? Who's your fixer? Wakako. Told her I had a busted doll with a BD implant to hand off. Where did they take her? I told you already. I don't know. They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gunk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gunk? What do you think? Why do all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm? Your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. They can smell you pathetic. These guys, what do they look like? Like you, me, anyone else in this city. Really now? They look like you? They look like the kind of guys you don't make eye contact with. One of them was a bearded fellow. The two that came for her, 
Didn't say anything about where they were gonna take her, what they were gonna do to her. Mentioned something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. But that's really all I know. You ponder off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. Need air. I'll be outside. Let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. Don't worry. We'll find her, I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey, keep it together. You want to give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. It's better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Dead said symbol bring anything to mind? Anything. Doesn't matter how small. This industry... I mean, market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. But an XBD outfit would be on the move almost always. It makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. Need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. It could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Everyone, everything, leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. Has an extra pair of expert eyes. Well, your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Let me think for a sec. What's up with you? Darknet domain. That's our best bet. Let's stick to the plan. Fine. Here's hoping you turn up something useful. I'll wait in the van. Yo, man, you trying to rip us off? I got four bags missing here. That's the cut I got off Pablo. Don't like it? Take it up with him. I ain't dealing with Pablo. I'm dealing with you. That means you and me got a problem. Now, I could paint the sidewalk with your guts, but that wouldn't get me what I'm owed. Oh, you want to try? Go on, son.
Where's your cute little ass? Hey, you're looking. looking for something raw, untouched. I'll come back some other time. Betting on it. How about you? You buying or just gonna stand there like a pig undercover? Looking for BDs. A particular kind. Particular? You a badge? If I was a badge, you'd already be in cuffs while you sold the customer before me. All right, all right. Can't be too careful. What do you want? Give me the best of the best. The ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head'll cost you, though. How about a discount for your newest customer? Only give regulars discounts. If you're short, then fuck off. Got anything that might interest me? Pleasure doing biz with you. Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one, too. Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. My catch <laughs> Gotta be. No one else with that kind of fashion sense. Ordered recently. Oh, 
Electric Corp patch in the coveralls. Ordinary box. Decker, Tanaka, and Rogers logo. Standard for a trash heap. Scav woman. <laughs> Who knew that sides chopping people up they were scrolling XPDs? Can't beat that rich synth got aroma. <laughs> Cheap shit. Cold too. Mm-hmm. Buck a slice. Coffee was cold, like from the day before. Pizza looked fresh, though. So? Means someone's grabbing bucket slice regularly, which is not something someone does for the flavor and fresh ingredients. Pizza shares its DNA with styrofoam. Nobody's gonna slap across town for it. Okay, we're looking for an electric core power plant located near a bucket slice. EC used to have a big old complex in Charter Hill. Bucket slice chicks out, too. How can you be sure, though? Here we go. Old Electric Core power plant in Charter Hill. Gotta make do with this for now. Nothing else to garner from this scroll. No time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me? Let's get going. On our way. Still can't shake it. That virtue sample we saw with the dead's head moth. If all they scroll is snuff, then... Stop it. They'd have to be utter gongs to waste her on something like that. What do you mean? We're talking about a girl who's not only a natural at what she does, but also has got a doll's implant. I mean, that's not a package you find lying out in the street. And here we are. We going in? Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. It's not gonna be pretty in there. So? If you mean to tell me to hang back altogether, don't bother. All right. Going in.
But the experts at Biodyne have created nanites that, when injected into the spinal cord, provide long-term uninterrupted repair to the neural tissue. The cost of this cutting-edge therapy treatment has been listed at 700,000 euro dollars per month. For the second consecutive week, the landfill inferno in the remnants of Atlantic City continues to rage on. The 10,000-acre dumping ground ranks among the world's largest and contains both toxic and biological waste. Already seven firefighters combating the... Thank <laughs> you.